my training is in books. I love making books. It is really important to make things by hand, really start to finish. I think, you know, meticulously crafting things and really creating the experience and what you hand off to someone is important to me as an artist. I feel like I want to be very involved in every step or as much as I can be because I feel like when you work on something, you're putting yourself into it and you're putting you know, feeling into it, time and energy and emotion. And it's nice, it's a way for me to sort of give little gifts and, and bundles of hopefully kind of like happiness, pleasant little surprises to the world. With my work, I often find myself working as though I'm a, a one person assembly line. I really don't earn much money at it. It takes a lot of time and work. It's time intensive, it's exhausting, but I really do like the idea of spreading art quietly and insidiously just all over the place. That's the motivation for me to keep doing it. I just like putting it out there, but quietly, so that when people come upon it, it's more delightful. I began the Unbending project in 2012. It coincided with a residency I had at the High Point Center for Printmaking. I buy old secondhand vending machines and I sort of clean them up, I make sure they work. I put new branding on it so they are now art vending machines instead of condom vending machines or snack vending machines or tampon vending machines or whatever they were in their former life. And then I make art to dispense out of them and the art is often thematically related to the machine itself. This is one of my unvending machines. I call it the smut machine because it's a former condom vending machine like you would find in, say, a kind of a chintzy gas station or a, a bar maybe. And all the art that comes out of the smut machines has to do with love or romance or human sexuality or just anything. It's an opportunity to speak frankly, speak openly, be kind of silly and fun. And currently, it's dispensing two different little books that are a facsimile of a series of text messages, a one-sided conversation from a person in love who isn't really responding to their advances, and they get slowly crazier and crazier and a little more obsessive and desperate. Like most of my work, something that you can decide whether or not you take it seriously. It's either pretty funny, a little joke, a little one-liner, or it's kind of serious and deep. The Modest Manual for Living does seem to be just kind of a perennial favorite. It's one that is, on the one hand, sort of a little clever one-liner because on the inside, all of the pages just say inhale and exhale, which is all you really have to do to live. The term vending has some very commercial implications and it comes with this idea of, you know, profit and loss and margins and making sure you earn more money than you spend. And honestly, with this project, I am not earning more money than I spend. So it's really an uncapitalistic, unvending project. It is an art for art's sake sort of thing.